primary school, they're taking us there. So we're wearing like the whole outfit for like Catholic outfit sort of thing. Um, so yeah, long story short, we go there and we all had like, we are basically all like kind of standing in like a sort of queue behind each other, but we're holding candles, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. And we're all going one by one to fucking to eat some bread. Yeah. No disrespect to Christians. Was, was it good bread? Nah, it's just, it's like a, it's like a, it's, it's more like a waffle, like a um, thin yeah, waffle yeah, thing, you know? Yeah. So obviously it's, a, it's like a round thing, you know? So obviously we're going to eat that. And, um, and then, yeah, like I must've just been looking somewhere else and I must've just put my candle forward to this girl's hair and yeah, her hair just kind of went on fire and someone just jumped in and just started slapping it and all of that. And yeah. All of this was in church. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, it was, it was, it was a fun day still. The girl definitely thought you were a demon, bro. Nah, the girl didn't like me for the rest of the for the rest of the school still. Oh, and her didn't get along, yeah. Obviously Was she, was she bold? Nah, she wasn't bold. The thing just went on fire like and they just put it out. It was just smelly and that, you get me? Mm. It was thinking of like hair on fire and that, you know what I'm saying? It's a long day, bro. It's a long day. Have story. you come from gym? Why did you look pumped? Huh? Nah, I've been in gym in the morning, innit? I just been banging bare gym, you know. I need to hide my arm. <laughs> that's, hey, that's why you got a pillow, innit? Yeah, Jay, just uh, yeah, get me. Man said, man said, yeah, but yeah, man, sorry, man. Just, uh, you know what it is? I think it's the t-shirt, just too tight. You know what I realized, yeah? I went through like a transformation after a while. Like I was, I was much slimmer back in the day. Okay. And I think I was getting older, maybe my like hormone exchange or something. And it's just, I was going gym and I was just like, yo, I'm just getting pumped. So what I was doing before, it wasn't working, but now it's just like anything I do, like anything like weight wise or I said, pull yeah, ups. Uh, and, yeah, then no, I no, seriously, yeah. it, just, it just, it just hits me, man. I said but two yeah. weights. Yeah. Instantly. All right, cool. Listen. Put my phone aside. Let's let, let, let's get let's get it started, man. And and I want to jump straight into it, bro. Ready when you're. Yeah. I want to ask you about um your thoughts on freedom of speech. We rolling. Yeah. Sorry, just start yeah. again. <laughs> I said, we're, 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 we're always rolling, man. Yeah, I want to ask you about freedom of speech, man. Okay. And and where do you think like what do you think what state is freedom of speech in now in 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 your perspective? Mm. And where do you think that's heading? Because I feel like that's a huge topic right now. Freedom of speech. Where? that It, it is quite a big topic. Um, mm. It is quite a big topic. Freedom of speech. It's bad because... <laughs> I said it's bad. Yeah, you're allowed to, you're allowed to have freedom of speech. Mm. That doesn't mean everyone's going to care. But do, do you think... So do you think we have freedom of speech? Yeah. Yeah, so we yeah. can say anything we want. No, yeah. no, we cannot. We can't say anything. We're not. We want. So, so what? What's classes freedom of speech? And the, is freedom it of speech is meant anything? is meant to be that you're allowed to express your own opinions, mm -hmm. and that be that, and no one should really penalize you for <clears throat> your own views, your own expression, your own opinions, mm. and your own sort of life standing, the stuff that you've like gone through. But at the moment. It's like if if you say something that's quite mad, mm. you will get cancelled. So cancel culture is like a real like counter to freedom of speech. But then also, so I'm just I'm just trying to understand where cancel culture is coming from in the first place because that's it's, it's never really been a thing until recently. What cancel culture? Yeah, like I never used to hear about it like too much until like maybe three four years ago. It's not I think really with the rising of social media has come the rising of cancel culture. Yeah. Um, because it's like they instantly know what you're doing now because everyone just posts everything online. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. Whatever you're doing is posted directly online. People yeah, yeah. see. Like, so. <clears throat> but then there's, the, so there's two elements of that, yeah? So I think, I think with social media, there's element number one, which is social media has obviously got their own limitations to what people can say okay. and they'll yeah. take action. Yeah. And there's the second element, which is, Kind of like it's the audience or consumers of social media who can punish someone for saying something, which are two sort of entirely different things. It's that punishment that yeah. is that. Well, I may, maybe punishment's not the right. No, word. punishment yeah, yeah, yeah. is exactly the right word. Okay, bro, cool, because cool. that's what it is. It's yeah, punishment. Yeah. So it shouldn't be but called cancel culture. It should be called like punishment. Punishment culture. Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, punishment yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's like. It, sh it really shouldn't be that. And the majority of people that get cancelled get cancelled because they're in um, a position of power, a position of influence or something like that. Yeah. But those same people, um, 
if the roles were reversed mm. and were given the opportunity, most probably would come out with a similar outcome. Do you get me? But um, I can't say that for all people. Yeah. And uh, going a little bit more deeper into it, <clears throat> excuse me, going a little bit more deeper into it is if you have the council culture, um, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. Huh? Okay. Let's revert back to the original question. Okay, cool. So freedom of speech. So, yeah, do you think we have freedom of speech? And where do you think the whole element of freedom of speech is heading to right now? We have freedom of speech. Yeah. But depending on what you're speaking on, it could be quite techie territory. Mm. For example, uh, something that is quite prominent in um, techie territory is the whole LGBTQ sort of... Um, Sort of realm Yeah yeah um, There's a lot On that That if you If you Bro if you slip up With one of those words It's mm. a whole long day For your social media But do, do you know what the, There is the element it's of not. There is the element How What what someone actually says And what the fact is And then what people think They intended to say Yes And I, and I think And I think We don't talk about it enough To just address like Okay cool So someone might have said You know like Something is I'm trying to think of an example they might say, okay, cool, this thing is green. Mm -hmm. And then everyone who listened to it, some people might have heard, yeah, the person saying that's yellow, like cancel him, cancel him or cancel her because they said, but actually they said something entirely different. So I feel like sometimes people are not even looking at facts that they're, they're too quick to kind of like put their own lens onto what that- Preempt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah, too yeah. quick to preempt what they think is going on. I mean, that being said, sometimes the person is saying, yo, the thing is green. Mm -hmm. But- um, other people may have may just misinterpret it as something else, and once that misinterpretation comes in, brother, yeah, you, yeah. You, there's no rest. And sometimes there's no, there's no rest. it's too quick. It's just like everyone's like, da, 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 da. people are very around. fast to come for your neck without yeah. um, the proper research. And once <clears throat> people are very fast to come for your neck, and once this research hasn't been placed, and they find out, they now feel stupid. So yeah, they'll yeah. so. You have people who would say, okay, my bad, I was wrong, and stop. And some people that will continue fighting even though they're wrong. Yeah, yeah. It gets like strong-headed in their, ign in their ignorance. Yeah, yeah. I can't deal with those sorts of people, man. People yeah. that I can't see clearly, don't like it. Mm. Not a fan. I stay in my house. <laughs> I stay in my house. Do you, know, do you know what's interesting? So for me, something's just come up in my head around the whole freedom of speech thing. Because I didn't know where I stand with it just before I asked the question. But now I think um, for me, it's about... So I think freedom of speech is real. I think anyone can say anything they want, like literally anything they want. I think what is also real is unwritten. They're not written, but the unwritten consequences towards what people say. And those are the things that's being developed over the years. And I think those are the new things that's kind of like, no, no one goes like, yeah, this is on paper and this is what you can't say. But there's unwritten understanding of things that can't be said. Give me an example of one. Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I can't say it. You, you know, I'm saying, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, if if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm just, you know, if you know, you know. If you yeah. don't know, forget yeah. about but, it. But, but it's not, but it's not fair because then people people can't really share the honest opinions on certain topics, and then that kind of eliminates the process of having meaningful conversations on wherever that is. Uh, whether that topic is yeah man i just what i don't like is the fact that people should have the right to i think people in this in this new age era are soft soft because it's like something will be said yeah these men will take it to heart they'll take it deeper than the heart they'll take it to every vascular piece of something <laughs> bro it will go they just take it too deep to get it. like at the end of the day you know me, I know you. Mm. If I say something and you don't like it, cool. You can just be like, bro, I wasn't feeling what you said. Boom, bam, let it be. Some people will take this off. No, you're insulting me. You're insulting my family. You mm. bro, I just said one comment. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. If I said all I've done, I'm insulting your people. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. You know? <laughs> but I love that. Yeah, man. I, I just think that people take a lot of the stuff way too um, deep. Even if it is something that, um, affects sort of your personality or your livelihood or whatever it does affect. Mm. Those words that have come out of a person's mouth mm. have not tainted um, your skin. They haven't damaged you. You're not bleeding any blood. Yeah, yeah. Bro, relax. Let it slide. But do you, do you think that, do you think words are powerful? 
Yes. Yeah. Words are powerful, but actions are a lot stronger. Mm. And I rarely go off just words now, unless it's um, a contract, uh, something specifically law abiding. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> then yeah. But then also, I feel that for me, um, I I decide what I give the consent to as well. And sometimes I feel like if someone said something to me, and maybe I'm not always resilient, maybe I'm not always resilient enough to to, to kind of go like, you know what, um, I don't want to give my consent to that particular sentence or what someone said and 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 whatnot. Um, so I feel like it's also that there's there's something around empowering myself or just you know getting people to empower themselves to go, you know, what, I don't want to give my consent to whatever whatever's been said. Mm, but if that's the case Then you just, you're just you just like Alright And leave it Do you get yeah, it yeah. If that conversation is for you That conversation is for you But You can either add to it Or let it be mm. <clears throat> In my eyes If it's for you Add to it If it's not for you Let it be yeah, There yeah. are a group of people Out there Who that particular thing is for Yeah yeah Let them have it Cool man um, Let's talk about Let's talk about society you know, okay. Like the state of the world um, Cause <laughs> The state of the world <laughs> The facial expression said everything Brother State of yeah. the world right where, now where do, you, where do you think it's at? That was a deep breath Sorry <laughs> Hella oxygen in here Carbon dioxide Now just roaming around this place I'm, I'm like yo Maybe I shouldn't have asked that question <laughs> You know yeah There is one thing I want to talk about Yeah I'm bringing forward um, So this has never been any Of any concern of my mind before, but until I started working at like a phone store, whatever, innit? The inflation rate for this year is 7.8%. Like, I'm hearing that's a mad thing. I don't know much about money and inflation, whatnot, mm-hmm. but I'm assuming you two do. So, well going for that. Bro, don't make assumptions on my, on my name, bro. Don't make assumptions <laughs> on my you, name. You know, you know how many kind of guy? I know Leo is. I, um, mm. I understand a bit about it, not a lot. I'm going to be very mm. honest here. Because what, 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 what I find interesting is, um, that inflation is obviously the value of the pound, right? Like mm-hmm. How that, uh, the value of the pound fluctuates up and down and whatnot. And that affects TFL or travel. That affects phone contracts or any other contract. But it affects anything to do yeah. with... But it doesn't, doesn't affect people's pay. I mean, it, it does if the companies decide to, to pay you for it. <coughs> like if, if, if someone made, you know, have, I don't know where people, people work in, I'm in loads of different places, right? It doesn't so, affect my pay. My pay is I know, I know, but I'm just saying it might not affect your pay. But I know for some people, they'll go, you know what, inflation's coming and whatever company they're in, if the company really cares about them, so your company does not care about you. That's oh, what of, I was of course, retail. So, would if, so if the company cares about no, you. I work in retail. They'll, they'll, and they'll, you, does your one go up? It would be. So, oh, that's. that's but also, do, do, do you want to hear something interesting on that point? Yeah, and then mm. we can dive into the society and, and, and the state of the board as well. Um, so, I've. I've seen something where they said the economy is back to normal. So they're saying the economy is back to where it was prior to COVID. But basically, the inflation's up. So all the companies are still like making money or whatever, but their salary is not going up. And they're saying, like, and government goes, like, hey, it's not our fault, you know, like, it's just. So, like, uh, so all are freelancers, like, is it, is it. And, and, is and also the government's asking for more tax and stuff, yeah. so, yeah. But is, is it, is it, so am I, am I not obligated to, to raise my prices according to the inflation? Yeah, you rate? can, you can raise a price. You don't have to wait I for can, inflation but should I? To, to raise the prices. No, no, no but I, 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 my prices are based on my ability and, and what I can <coughs> pr- provide. So, if I, if by I, your if prices, you mean prices you get paid? Like, yeah, like, paid what, what I charge to, to do services. Like. So at any point, you can go to your employer and be like, listen, I would like a raise. No, 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 no. I'm saying my, like my personal freelancing video kind of. Oh, yeah, but yeah. that as well. You can do that yeah. any moment. I, I can do whenever I want, but am I now, like, is it, like, if I, if I charge, like, for example, if I charge, like, on an £80 an hour, mm-hmm. am I now obligated to bring that up by 7.9%, 7.8%? You, you get to choose. I get to choose, but you, should I? You that, have, is that, that, is you that have like no obligation at all. So, yeah. no, you're not obligated to do it but if you feel like certain things are becoming more expensive for you i.e sort of sd cards that you have to buy tech um if you feel like your time is worth more then bro by all means raise it up but it wouldn't freelance is a bit different because freelance you sort of set your own standard yeah. to get it because like i said before before working at um working in a phone store i never actually paid any attention to this and it wasn't until I got a, a customer that started telling me about, oh, yeah, the inflation this year is going to be mad. Thing. It's going to be crazy. And then it went up by 7.8%. And I don't know what 7.8% means. Like, is that crazy? Like, good or bad? But then I got an email saying, yeah, 
Oh, like it's like a, a store wide thing. Oh, there's a lot of like controversial um, conversations and yada yada. I'm thinking, okay, cool. This is a matting. Now I'm thinking, cool. Everything else goes up, but what about salaries and whatnot. And obviously, like, now I'm hearing to your boss. Be like, yeah. boss man, the change. Mm. Run, Run it. it up, you, yeah, know? Yeah. you can only try, you know. Because because the pay pay is never like ten pound an hour or mm. twenty pound. It's always like ten pound thirty two pence, something, and something, yeah. and that's obviously something to do with like the. the that has to do something with like inflation. That's like a percentage of something, right? Because yeah, if it's Dif- not a percentage, and it wouldn't be this point, this percent, would it? Different places pay yeah. different amounts. Me, me, me and Bossman are gonna have a very, very intense conversation. Brother, after yeah, this. good, good luck with that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. A cup of tea ready, bro. Let him know. Yeah, like, let, what let him know coffee? How it goes. <laughs> I said a coffee. Yeah, man. Yeah, my society, man. <clears throat> yeah. What are we saying? Sorry. What was the uh, question that was? So yeah, th- yeah. But where do you think the world's heading? Uh, what maybe what state the world is in? I think in, the world at the moment is heading into the bin bag, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this planet is really going down. Why is that? Going down. Um, would you have? Would you have kids? Would you bring kids to this? To this? Unless you got kids already, I don't know. I don't have kids. Okay, cool. Would you bring kids into this world the way it is right now? The answer is yes because I would really like kids, mm-hmm. but for selfish reasons. Then. <laughs> yeah, because we are, that's, that's what a lot of people say. How like, about your ass? <laughs> let me finish. Because <laughs> no, a lot of people say that if you if you if you want kids, knowing full well what the the world they're going to walk into is that selfish. So I'm not going to finish my point. <laughs> no, 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 no. no I'm, I'm just playing, bro. I'm just playing. I'm just no, playing. but I, I you're, you're playing. But there's honesty in what you're saying because oh. mm-hmm. it is for selfish reasons. Because. Um, is it selfish though? It's it's a family name. My family name isn't just me. It's generations of of power, generations yeah. of my bloodline. But then I don't see your kids going like, "Hey, like we're not grateful that the fact that you've given us this life," you know. Regardless of how I, mad they might okay. be at the time. <clears throat> the original point I was going to make was that I want to bring my kids into a world where I understand that I can keep them safe and secure, mm. where I can understand they will have. Uh, a very thriving life. Do you get it? They, they, they won't be surrounded by so much negativity as there is in this world. Mm. But that being said, I understand the state in which that we live in. I understand that, bro, the world's fucked up at the moment. Yeah, so what's, what's like, <clears throat> what do you think is fucked up and what is the state that we're living in right now? From your perspective. Bro, there's so much that is that is messed that I've even stopped looking into because it's messed, bro. Mm-hmm. Government? Bro, if we go into this one here, yeah. Backflips on backflips. Just bear just Bro, why not? Let's let's go let's go into government. Nah, I try I, yeah. I keep my nose specifically out of political information because yeah, it's yeah. like from when I found out the information I found out, I just I was like, these guys are all ta- all of them sitting in parliament, tapped, sitting next to each other, yeah. tapped, tapped. I mean tapped, I mean that's kind of like that's kind of obvious, but like I'm, it's I'm obvious, but it's not the way it should be. Yeah. And it might be obvious for us though, because there's still like loads of people who are like who believe in government mm. and they're like super political, and they're like, yeah, this party is gonna make a real difference. And do you know what? You know what the craziest thing is? Go They've on. been saying that for years. They're Whoa. like, let's vote for this party because they're gonna do this thing, and they keep repeating the same cycle. And then, it, like, what's the, what's the difference? Hmm. You know, there is none. There isn't. Yeah, and the thing is, the world is just getting more and more broken, bro. Mm. We're just stepping deeper and deeper. Into do, do you know what's funny world. though? Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna challenge you in this <coughs> one, and because like, obviously we just got different views, and mm-hmm. and we was having a brief conversation before this about this, and I was just saying, I think, I think sometimes it's it's, it's like a, it might be a trait of optimism or pessimism, or some people like to call it realism or whatever they call it. Yeah. And um, I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm I'm an optimist, so. I feel like the world's heading. I'm not saying there's there, there isn't any like fucked up shit that's happening, but I feel like it's it's the world's restructuring itself for the better. That's what you think, really? Yeah, I think it's gonna take some time. You really think that? Yeah, I think so. I think so, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I still think that this world is in the bin bag, bro. Yeah, this world is so deep in the trash. It's bro. We're gonna need God to come uh, in. So, so how long up. before game over? You reckon? I don't think that there'll be a proper game over, but I do think that um, it would have to be the era of cybernetics and robotics that will take us out 
of where we are now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're finished. We're finished. Mm. We're living in a world filled with greed and so much talent, but the talent isn't seen, and the ones that are seen don't really don't really use their platform to the best of their abilities. And there's a lot that's going on. Do you know? Do you know what I think? Yeah, and you look like tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think there's just lack of perspective in life. I'm not saying with us. I'm just saying that's what's. I feel like from my experience, that's what's missing with people. I feel. I feel like if they had more perspective, because what we're talking about is perspective, right? Yeah. So we have a certain perspective on the world, which is we're going at certain things and we go like, let's say for instance, like all these rappers, like doing this nonsense with relationships and all these different things is happening. Like we go, this is nonsense. And yeah, but that's because we've got a certain perspective, but those people that's doing it, like to me, they, <clears throat> they have the perspective, but they lack different type of perspective that brings value to the world and their life. Maybe it has. Maybe in their world, it has value. Maybe for them mm. and the world that they're living in, there's enough value there. Yeah, maybe that's what they value, right? Yeah. But what if that's what they think they value, but but they haven't got a true, just, true taste of what they really value. Yeah, and but they haven't really game. realized. Yeah, maybe they haven't been on that journey to realize, you know, who they are and what they really want. Yeah, I feel like those kind of people, they they've they've kind of found the uh, <clears throat> they found the key to. A, a, a decent good life So they're not really searching for A new perspective Because what they have works Or well, works <clears throat> At the expense of That middle class and whatnot. So you're saying it works for them Yeah Because they, they, I mean they have, they're have they rich Obviously for those kind of people Money is, is, is what they see value in The money works What makes them happy So mm. they, that, They're yeah. making peace You know what I'm saying They're making peace And peace is what makes them happy Therefore they don't look for these kind of things Because they don't care they don't care. I mean, these are the type of people we're looking. We're talking about a breed of people that don't care about sacrificing a, a, a tens of thousands of billions of worth people in exchange for them to make an extra, pe- extra, extra, what, uh, extra bag or whatever. I, I think so some of them are even aware that they're doing that, like the whole sacrifice thing. I think, I think, unless they're exposed to it, I feel like they don't really see what the consequences yeah. are of some of the things that they yeah. do. Yeah, some. A lot of them do. This low key is re- reverting back to Parliament. Mm-hmm. Or is it that that we're still speaking on subconsciously? <laughs> Not even talk about whatever. I mean, yeah, um, but most of it is, is par- par- parliament and governments because they then they're in a, in a position of power where, like, essentially they're happy. I don't believe people in parliament should be paid. Mm, I'm with you on that one. I don't believe they should be because if they genuinely like care about people's <laughs> lives, yeah. they should. It's, yeah, it's kind of like super, you know, like kind of like superheroes. Like if you're talking more fictional, like yeah. superheroes don't get paid for their services; they just mm. do it because out of the good of their own. You know, you know what? That's a powerful point because you know what it is. Like if imagine like if I go cool, I want to make a difference, like real difference, and I care about people, and I go, I'm going to do this job in Parliament. Like I shouldn't be paid for it. Like I should because that's what I want to do, right? I'm 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 not here sitting and stating that they should be. They shouldn't be commended for what they would be doing yeah, because they'll still mm. be like they'll get their sort of the stuff that they, they need to live, the stuff that that they need to sort of travel with expenses, um, pay expense, them yeah, yeah, sort yeah, of thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah, like, like you shouldn't you get like expenses. hella bonuses and then a bonus on top of your bonus for just mm. doing your job yeah. mm-hmm. and not doing that correctly. Because because like, if, if 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 I genuinely care about the 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 the, the, the society and and yada yada the, the, the what's it didn't. You call it neighbor, neighborhood. What's the other word for it? The borough. For example. Yeah, mass. That's a neighborhood. <laughs> oh, it's straight American. I nearly said the tri-state area. Cool, <laughs> fitness and firm. Hey, what's it? The West Coast. Um, if I genuinely really care about them, then and I'm doing a good job at showing it and then doing something about it, you're gonna get paid regardless. Mm. Mm. Like people are gonna think, okay, cool, this guy is generally is genuine and he's actually making a difference. I'm gonna give him a bag. I'm gonna give him a this. Give him that. I'm gonna help him out. Like sometimes, like the things that people want money for, they want money to buy things. But if if, if you're doing a good job, I'm gonna give you things. You feel me? Although, but mm, yeah, but on that on that particular point, what if you're giving them stuff they don't want? That's besides the point. The point is, <laughs> the but point is, I gift you for your for for your for your because it's generally because think about it, generally people don't want anything for their services. Do you know I what's interesting though with with what services. you're saying? Yeah, is that. It's like it's like what are they doing it for? Are they doing it for themselves or are they doing it for the public? Really, you know, it's, uh, and those, know the, those, yeah. the, doing it for themselves is what we have. Doing it for the public is what you need or yeah. what? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's the problem. And them not being paid yeah. would eliminate. Ooh, that. Aladdin, Burrs. <laughs> Come on, dropping but, but, it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. But then, then again, like, but like, we can talk about this day and night. 
but the same. But the point is, it's not going to change. So essentially, what we what we what we what we can discuss is what are we going to do with the hand we've been dealt. We've been dealt a yeah, bag yeah. of shit cards. My way of de- like, I want to know. I actually want to know your ways of of de- of playing with it because my way of playing with those cards is just like just not playing the game and playing my own game kind of thing. Just like my thing. I'm just I just want to live to an eighty and skip the bucket. Like after that, it's a myth. So I'm going to make that. How old am I? Twenty one. I'm going to make that sixty years as enjoyable as possible, and then just skip the bucket. Like I'm done. Is that a term? Skip the bucket. Skip the bucket. Basically, skip the bucket. This means die. I've never heard that. I've never <laughs> that's the first is that one. a new one? Skip that's the bucket. That's older, older than me. I said skip the bucket. Skip the bucket. Um, uh, how do you play a game with, with, with a dead bag of cards? Me, bro, sometimes you just need to burn the deck. Meta- metaphorically or <laughs> literally? Cause yeah, so <laughs> if... <laughs> that's, that's, that's hellfire, my bro. Uh, shit. Bro, no, you nah, need to I know burn what, the deck. I know not like, I know what you meant. Bro. Not go just, to flipping parliament yeah. and try to do... Burn up the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah just, just, just say that clear because if the parliament does... Yeah. Yeah. Not on a remember, remember yeah. thing. Not on that. Do you get yeah. it? Yeah. This, it wasn't, it These wasn't men will go try and burn up parliament and be like, yeah, Voltaire said it. Nah, G, relax. Stick off. Hey, listen. The right I allowed him. You know what we're going to do tonight? the government man if you're watching this. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do tonight, and then we're gonna edit this and uh, say uh, that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, if yeah. you man edit my words sideways, <laughs> no, nah, like. Like, so weird. we just use eat I, one word per signed sentence. A, I signed sentence. agreement already. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like, I love the whole level of base. A weird one, one, yeah. Did you did you ever lot think if there's a connection between police, politics? And I mean the first two, of course, they sound the same. <laughs> and there's another one. Uh, I forgot. Yeah, policy. No policy, police, politics. Yeah, that's the, that's the one. Yeah, you're right. Policy. Yeah. Policy, po- politics, and police. Yeah. They sound all the same. How can? Well, but that's what I'm saying. It feels like they're all the same. Like police is there to enforce make, the policies. Yeah, that the politics, that politics make, are putting out. Yeah, yeah. Boom, bam. That's mad. Boom bam! Yeah, fuck the feds. Y'all heard it here first, ladies and then and, and then when you're voting for politics, you, you're you're going through the poll. Yeah. Um, oh, you're taking I, a piss. <laughs> you're taking a piss here, that one. <laughs> Come on, that was. I, I'm, I, I've stopped. I stopped deeping into politics. Mm-hmm. Do, do so mad. I I went into politics like a couple of weeks. Like I was editing this video, yeah. And one of the things they were talking about was the Boris partying during yada yada during COVID. Mm-hmm. So I went onto YouTube trying to find a clip to use for the video, and then I, I went in this like this this cave of this politics watching videos. I'm thinking, this is this is like I knew it was dumb because of what the public think. But then after looking at myself and re- watching news, or, like watching news, whatever, yo, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, these lot are mad. Yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. And the video was this bad, you know. Do you know what? I think this this is why I realized this is why I'm an optimist, and I don't think I pay too much attention to that side of stuff. Because I think, I think what, if I, if I start paying attention to it, I'll be like, yeah, the world is done. Yeah. But I try, no, I try, no, I try I to focus on the good things, man. I don't really pay attention to it, and I'm telling you, the world is done, bro. Oh, done. Yeah. Well, yeah. you said you know some stuff which you didn't disclose, you know, about the government. So you're not gonna get into that, you know what I'm saying? Well, unless you want to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, don't, you don't want to do that, but you know that you've been held hostage, bro. Uh-huh. <laughs> you don't want to do. Hey, it's listen, the government um, man, if you're watching, I said nothing. Yeah. Do you, do you know what's Do you know what's really interesting? So obviously, I've known you for a little while, yeah. yeah. But like for some reason, I respect your views a lot. Not for some reason, obviously. For I haven't figured out what the reason is, and so I don't think I know how to articulate it yet. But but from the conversations I've had with you, I feel like you have like really like fair and unique ways of looking at certain things. And you kind of like you come out that you you come out the the box like you you look at things outside the box. I try um, to, I try to, um, I try to keep a very balanced approach on what I'm speaking about. I try to see both points, mm. and I then try and give an overall. And my opinion is usually placed on the overall rather than when I'm looking at both, yeah, yeah, yeah. both parties. And I feel like you're super grounded as well. Come on, yeah, <laughs> come on. I you know. Let me take that one, but I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, but yeah, but just just kind of leading on, just leading on that as well. Um, I wanted to see if I can extract some learning from you, just for people that are listening as well. Okay. And I'm gonna slap this question of, like, so far in your lifetime, yeah, what are the three most important things you've learned? <clears throat> three most important things I've learned. Yeah. 
Number one, um, um, the power of an action is 10 times stronger than a word. Mm. Um, yeah, that one's helped me out quite a lot because you'll be around certain people and they'll be portraying certain ways and then their actions will be doing doing up a little bit differently, whether it's at work or whether it's in your relationship, whether it's just family ties, just it just depends. But it tends to be the same thing throughout. Just keep an eye on people's actions. Um, even those that you might think, yo, this brother would never do me something sideways. Sometimes just take a step back, yeah. have a look and just understand what they're actually doing rather than what you think they're doing. It could surprise people. That's when that's how people get surprised in the first place, right? Mm. They never expect it and then suddenly it happens. They go, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. These times, so mad. Your, your boy could be sleeping with your missus. Long day. Mm. Everybody's getting chopped up. Especially if someone's gone to jail. Everybody's getting chopped up. <laughs> Everybody's getting chopped up. Um, that's number one. Number two, what else? Um, try and find the positive side in everything that you do. Mm. Because everything has a good and a bad. Everything has a reason as to why it was done. And that should come with both positive and negative. Um, the positive will tend to make you feel better about the situation and the negative is more of a side effect. Try not to focus on the negative. Mm. It, it, it dawns on your spirit. Well, then positive and negative is subjective <coughs> as well, right? Yeah. 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 Positive and negative is definitely subjective. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just try and focus on the positive. Yeah. And can a negative be a positive sometimes? And it's just, it's just a matter of how we look at it. Depends on the circumstance and the situation. Yeah. Because I'm thinking like anything negative that's happened in my life, like now I look at it as something like, cool, I've actually learned from that negative, which learning for me is positive. So I turned the negative into something positive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as an example, mm. um, I'll use one that's used quite heavily in movies. You tend to have an abusive partner um, and he's abusing his wife, missus, whoever it is, and they've got a son. Or daughter, and that child tends to be watching this. Mm. Once the father then passes away, it's sad that they've lost the father figure for the house, but the mother becomes better for it and then starts to raise a child in a more loving household, for example. Yeah, yeah. That's just an example. No, that's a good example. That's I like that. Mind. Yeah. Um, third thing. You know what, yeah, I think this is the first time, and I'm cool with it as well, by the way, because I like silence. This is the first time we've had, like, longest breaks on a podcast ever, which I appreciate as well. It's nice to have. Your circumstances will always make you stronger. Um... So this stems from, it's actually stemmed from a thought on a thought and then that thought had that <laughs> thought. Then. So it stemmed from one time I was walking on the TFL on um, one of the trains and it said not all disability is visible. Mm. Um, and so when I saw that, I said, okay, facts, GA. But then it got me thinking that people who sort of have this disability or a disability see life in a ever so slightly uh, different way to you and me um, just due to the things that they've had to go through. But then I was like, but that's everyone in life. Everyone has, has some form of uh, something that has made them see things a little bit differently. Yeah. So just understand that the, um, the stories that people have gone through, the struggles, the stuff that strengthens them, is what helps to build their uh, their picture of what life is. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Yeah. 
I think I think also that that brings a level of appreciation mm. for what they got as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the, this is it's a really interesting conversation because, like you said, like not all disability is visible, but then like we're all able to think, but then some people might not be able to think the same, like to the same extent or to the same capacity as well. And and I feel like that's yeah, I've never thought about that before. Isn't I mean, I, I, I like to understand the, the origin of words and, and what words actually mean. Mm-hmm. Doesn't that mean everyone is disabled? Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. I was every, thinking every, everyone, to some extent yeah. everyone was disabled. Yeah. Everyone, everyone lacks an ability to do something. Yeah, yeah. Which means them disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking just uh, all of us are disabled to some extent. Someone's able to do something better than someone else. And some people are unable to do something. Like I, I, like if, if even saying uh, to the extent of comprehending a, a concept. Look at you out here just rewriting, <laughs> <laughs> rewriting society. <laughs> <Yeah. but laughs> no, really, like right, but I, there's a lot of these rules and these concepts that I, I, I've recently come across, and like I'm, I'm, I like the ability to agree or comprehend the reasoning for this rule. I'm disabled. Yeah, and plus, it, but able and disabled at the same time. Yeah, I think it might have stemmed from. Um, Disabled as in being having an actual disability um, that was maybe physical, and then they, then from there. But, but that, yeah, that's more like that's like because I feel that there's two, there's two types of ways to 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 um, to take in the English language, and that's the, the obvious way and, and debate way and how everyone sees it. But it's also like what if I want to look into like this like um, one of Leo's favorite ones is um, responsibility, the, the ability to respond. No one, no one really ever thinks of it that way. It's true, still. You know what I'm saying? Fucking hell. This guy's a and and that, that, applies, that applies to so many words. That Leo constantly does it, and I love it, bro. Because, like, words, like, if you just look at it point blank, then obviously it means what it means. And communication, the purpose of communication is for you to understand what people say. But when you look deeper into these words and, and the origin of these words, like, one of my favorite ones here, I heard this in an Eminem track. Love, spelled, love said backwards is evil. Say evil. Is evil. That's not an accident. I can't. But then, I, I but then is it evil or is it evil? If you evolve, but be an accident, bro. No, 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 no. I don't think. I don't find that <laughs> accident. I, don't I, think, I, think, I think, that's like, think that's definitely. I I like the ability to comprehend the fact that that might be an accident. I think that's not on purpose, and I think that applies to. Well, language is such a big thing that these things can't be coincidences. Mm-hmm. I can the a lot of backwards mean. I that, couldn't spell the word evil for the longest. You know. What do you mean? I couldn't spell the word for the longest. Like I've got dyslexia, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you wanna know how I learned to spell this word? Oh. By being, I was watching an episode of SpongeBob one day. <laughs> Plankton, big up SpongeBob. Big up, big up SpongeBob. First of all, <laughs> that, that's Plankton must have come mm. on an evil tip. Cheers. Yeah, and then What's that someone must have been like, but he was wearing, I think, maybe a, a suit of lemon or something like that. And there must have been like every villain is lemons. And I was like, wait. And then they put on the screen every villain. Mm. Is lemons, E V I L, evil. I said oh. that's kind of how I learned to spell, spell the word because big elephants can always upset small elephants. Mm. That's that's that's. I, well, I remember this used to piss me off here when I was in school. We're talking about year four, year five. I'd ask my teacher, oh, "How do you spell because?" She would just say, "Big elephants can always upset small elephants," and just leave out that. I said me, year four, year my, five. Never say my seven year old mind is like, "What the actual fuck did you say? Mm. What does that have anything to do?" Said, uh, what, what, the math, math, the math is a math. Math, math, math is English and English and guy for. <laughs> I'm thinking, what does this mean? And then as I grew up, like, oh, analogies and acronyms. Acronyms, are, are, I find them so lit, man. Mm. But like, like, well, like again, this is a thing of language. Like language is, like language is beautiful in a way where it's a puzzle. That is so complex. When yeah. you solve it, like, oh, sh-, like, re- a- re- ability to respond, that to me is still fascinating. And despite the fact that I heard that, like, uh, for the fir- I heard that first time, like, on episode 10 or something, you said on episode 10, and that was the first time I heard that. But to this day, I still find it fascinating because language is so, I like, think we don't take enough time, we as a society, not we in this room, mm. we as a society don't take enough time to research the origin yeah. of not just words. Everything, <coughs> and I, I think that comes from Everything. just life being too busy, or yeah. slash we don't too have time. much noise. Like there's so, so much stuff happening. Like people just say, "I need to do this report. I need to go to work to do this thing." And no one actually sits down and goes, "You know what? Like, should I take some time and learn something, or should I explore something, or try and understand something of where it came from?" Mm-hmm. Because 
everything that we utilize now in the world came from somewhere yeah. mm-hmm. but no one ever stops and just goes like oh you know what let me see if where that thing came from how did like how did the like does anyone know the history of how you got cars does anyone know the history of how you got ships like you know all these different things horse and um, carriage you know? i think it's fascinating sw- huh started as horse and carriage you know I don't even know. I was just, I was just throwing it. This it was like a rhetorical question, and I don't actually know how it started. But, yeah, but I should, you know what? I'm a hypocrite because I should actually research it now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, I will. That, I will. That I think the, that's interesting. That was the beauty of lockdown, man. Lockdown gave everyone so much time to do things. <clears throat> that's why I lo- lo- bro, I'll do another lockdown any time of the day, bro. My lockdown was sweet. Yeah, hundred. Same. My lo- like through lockdown, I celebrated my 25th birthday, and. This was a time where everyone had been he- quite heavy in lockdown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I think we got like a little period free for maybe about a month or something like that. Yeah. And during that month, um, I planned my birthday. So I took, uh, I was turning 25 at the time. So it was a couple of years ago. So I took 25 of my um, like closest friends. Um, was, that, was that planned? Like out of, yeah. 25, 25. Yeah. Okay. That's so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I took 25 of my people just out of town. Mm. Um, slapped them on the coach We all just went um, Where do we go? Where do we go? We went to like The Lake District Or the Peak District Something like that That's oh, beautiful Yeah man Just somewhere that yeah. you can Yeah I've been there before You can yeah. breathe and, like, nice. You can stop You can think You can enjoy The actual surroundings That we have you know How long did you lot go there for? We went there for Was it a week? Was it a week? How long was it? That's so lit yeah, was it, was it was like three or four days, so maybe an extended weekend, yeah, yeah. maybe That's something like that. Sick. Yeah, but it's like we had like I made sure everything was planned to do. Mm. Um, like on the day we got there, we just chilled, we grabbed a little juice, or whatnot, whatnot, and then um, the day after that was my birthday, so I had like a little jubilee soiree. Told my people, bring your suits, bring your ball gowns. You get me? It's good Jeez. to see your people yeah, yeah, dressed yeah, yeah. up. You get me? Like, Put so that you can. With a, with a cane with a crystal board at the top bro, of it. Bro, nah, that's a bit hard. Straight you're on pimping, some, bro. You're on some pimp, pimp one leg to <laughs> deals. None of that. Nigerian Prince 419. God bro. damn. Nah, man. We were um, in some like suits, good suits. Yeah. You get me? The girls came in like nice dresses, good ball gowns. And we just enjoyed like, a, I did like a murder mystery evening for my birthday. Mm. Oh, that's lit. Um, that's lit. Yeah, so we did that, and then uh, the day after was uh, the morning was like we did like a few games, like a games night. I say games night; it was more like a sports day sort of thing. We had like races and just bare different just you, activities. You, you planned all this stuff, yeah, bro. How long did yeah, you plan it? I want to do that, man. How long did you plan it? Yeah, me snake. But no, it was really it was really good. It was just good to see my people in a different environment, and so I feel like my lockdown was a little bit different because whereas everyone was quite cooped up in their house, I was always just doing stuff to keep my mind active. Yeah, yeah. So I did that for a bit. I um, got into some, I just did stuff. I got into piano, playing. I found uh, nunchucks in my house. Don't ask me why <laughs> I, I have nunchucks. nunchucks in my house. I started learning how to use nunchucks. I don't think I want to know anyways, but- Bro, it's, it's, it's bro learning hurts, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it actually like proper ones or was it that, that did it have rubber on it? Or? Yeah, it was nah, doing that Bruce Lee and that. It was wood. Wooden, wood. you didn't put yeah. all that, they, that, they that had, sponge on um, it? Nah, I didn't put a sponge on it. I didn't have the sponge. I didn't know the Bruce didn't Lee. didn't know that that was a thing. No, you put well, it no, like now you know you could have put a sponge up, wrapped it up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Stop <laughs> collapsing your, your elbows and that, man. Bro. One caca! So what? Bro, it hurts, hurts, bro. Are you good at it now? Uh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> bro, you know, every time I hear, <laughs> that, that every time was, I hear non-trucks, I always think back yeah. to that video of, of Bruce Lee paying um, table tennis with non-trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that was sick, though. Insane. First of all, why ya? man... <laughs> First of all, some people can't even play nunchucks with a paddle thing. You know what I'm saying? This guy's out here doing it with a thin stick. Bro, Bruce Lee is a legend, bro. I watched um, oh, I watched uh, Bruce Lee. I saw a video of, of him stalking recently, man. I never, you know the whole Be Like Water thing? I never actually watched it in full. You don't know like the whole thing of Be Like Water, like what, how he talks about it. Go on, break it down. Is it going to ruin it for me? I need yeah, to ask you. Yeah, yeah, no, I need to, to watch it by him personally. I can't like, you say it better, but I'm going to say it regardless just to ruin your day, innit? Basically, essentially what he says here is water, when like water has no shape, it has no form, innit? So wherever water goes, it becomes where, wherever it is, wherever environment it is. You pour water into a cup, it becomes a cup. You pour water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. Like, essentially, that's what, he, that's what he kind of says. He says, when he says, be like water, he says, be like your environment. Force. Be yourself, but be like your environment. Be like water. Mm. I'm saying that, though. 
You put water into the air, it falls on the floor. And it becomes like the floor. It embraces the shape of the Whoa, floor. Whoa, man, just fire that one back <laughs> on you, bro. Yeah, but hey, what if that's not what I'm trying to be? I'm trying to be like the air. The air is light and lifeless. But isn't air on the floor? You're trying to be well? lifeless? No, air is not on the floor. But isn't it not mixing with the floor, though? No, the floor is on the floor. <laughs> no, but like, you see the floor, yeah? Mm. Is air not passing by the floor? Yeah, but if the water was on top of on the floor, then the air would be on top of the water. Yeah, then then the air's on top of the water. Yeah, exactly. But if you look at it from upside down, then the then the, the water's on top of the air. <laughs> Next question. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, I was gonna say, but see, um, like a lot of people are saying, like Bruce Lee's like passed away. Like obviously he's physically not here, mm -hmm. but like he's still here. Like bro, like the the his like insights and knowledge. Yeah, that's is, that's legacy, isn't it? Like that's legacy, but that's that's also like to me, like he's still alive. You know what I'm trying to say? It's mm. like, like he's not here to give us new knowledge and new ideas, but the things that he's had within within him at that point, like he's still life, living bro, on, he's still here. Life dies with the memory; it doesn't die with the physical form. So that's the thing. I, I get um, what you're saying. In let, my opinion, let me see if I wrote it down. Brother's definitely dead. <laughs> no, no. Let me see if I no, wrote it down. No, because, because li life life dies when you forget them. When, like the, when the memory goes, that's no, when but they, this, they truly this, gone. This is what's gonna say. Yeah, memories don't die like people do. Mm. Like to me, that that's a powerful line. Memories oh, yeah, don't yeah, die like yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's essentially like right. people die. Like I'm, I'm gonna die at some point, but memories don't die. Like yeah. it's, how it's, you made that person feel. Mm. That's what tends to be remembered. You, you might not necessarily remember everything that you've gone through with the person, but you might remember. Yeah, I've definitely had some good times with this person. Yeah. Here. Do you get me? We've done so and so together. You more so remember the emotion that you were going through during that time period. You know that that person was with you. Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's actually like I said, man. When when the memory dies, that's when the person truly is gone. Have you lot experienced this thing of like when whenever like so for me whenever I revisit like a memory, every single time like multiple more like when I do it multiple times all the time like over time it changes like the memory doesn't it's not it doesn't stay the same it's just every single time I revisit it, it just it just that's yeah, that's, it's a said, bit that's said to be a thing every single time you you revisit a memory the memory changes ever so slightly. Did you know that? Oh yeah, 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 I've seen something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. apparently that's fact. Yeah, because like you know how it's, um, but I can't remember. Yeah, because it kind of goes with that thing. You know, you know the word history. History comes from his story. So and he stop like, doing this shit to me, <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, the word history comes from his story. So he's the one that tells the story. He's over there. That was sticky as hell. I, I, I don't even know what that is. I can't lie, it was just a, was the, the, sweat. It was just a sticky That was head. hella molecules. <laughs> 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 I feel like I need to explain myself to you. <laughs> nah, I definitely need to explain this. So um, <laughs> nah, all it was that, was the... the nah, 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 no, it's fine, you're good, you're good. You're good. But no, yeah, his, history comes from the word history because obviously like, this world is a man's world. I say that with quotation marks. But he's the one which people can't see, by the way. He didn't do no quotation marks. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he, he's the one that tells the story in it. So like... Like, like obviously, who tells the story of the war, the, the survival, or the, or the or the dead? So every time you tell a story, it slightly changes, slightly changes until it becomes like a fictional story. But you can never, yeah. you can never truly tell a true story. But do, do, do you know what it is? Yeah, on on the more simple terms, yeah, someone could be be having black like passer work, yeah, and there's always two sides to the story. And this is yeah. what I'm becoming better at. When someone comes to me, like even if it's my friend, and they go, this, 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 this happened. Like I'm always like, you know what? Like I want to find out what the other side of the story is because oh, yeah, both people experience yeah. it differently. They both have their own like little whatever. And usually what happens is like both people just misunderstood each other most of the time. Yeah. But there are some people who are just being assholes for no reason. Yeah. I've, I've, I've seen those that's people. The, that's before. the thing that fascinates me the most, man. Like mindset is always the one that, that was always the thing that I always love kind of to understand. Some people, when someone, when someone does something that's so, in my, from my perspective, so stupid, yeah. My gen, my 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 go to thing is why. Like I want to understand why. I genuinely want to know why. Why are you doing this? Because that's the map of the world, and that's but then, how they it's, see like, it. it's like it's like it's like it's like Scooby Doo. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what that means? There's a mystery. No, no. But you know what that means? You know who you go and why? That actually, what that means is that you go fucked up parents. No, 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 no. What that means is that you have a different way of looking at things. That's literally yeah. what it means. Mm. Whenever you don't understand something, whenever you go, that's not common sense. That's different. That's this. That's whatever. That's basically you not identifying with how you perceive things, and yeah. you're just and going, then un understanding the fact that you're different. More so, you not identifying how they perceive things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, so, but that's the thing. So if I if I've had it, I would recognize it. So yeah. that means that means. You the don't empathy. Ha like that means you don't have it, or that means so it would mean I don't have it because I can't recognize it. So you know when people go like, "Oh, 
um, you're kind or you're this, you're whatever. Like that's because they have it too. Because or if or maybe they had it. Sometimes it's a case that they had it. They might not be using it. But the only way they can recognize it if that's something they identify with as well. So, um, so empathy. Yeah. So empathy. Like, like mm, I, I say empathy is different. Rela- from, relatability. From what sorry. I meant, but yeah. The kind of relatability, like I've, 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 like I'm, I'm in your shoes. I've been in your shoes before, kind of thing. No, so, so let me let me explain it this that way. Is yeah. Empathy in a nutshell, bro. Yeah. Sure. Let, let me explain it this way. I think so. For instance, yeah, my car, yeah, the golf. I've never used to notice other same golfs on this on the street, basically, until I got that. So because I've had it, I would notice it. Yeah, I had the airpods, man. When I got my airpods, I saw seeing bare airpods. There you go. Place. But this this is what I mean. So sometimes until something becomes part of my reality. I don't understand it because that's alien to me. So, so the key, so the, I think the key to, to to life is is to have that um, reaction without having to do the thing that causes that reaction. So I, I want to like metaphorically, I want to I want to notice all the the golfs without having to own a golf. You want to, yeah. Because then that helps me understand a lot more things so that I don't spend a lot of time yeah, being, but being confused about yeah, why the, people there's do things. that, but there's also experience as well. So that sometimes, helps, yeah, sometimes helps. help it, sometimes experiencing something will... Okay, no, speaking on that, cool. Let's talk about you, all right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's straight attractive. Let's talk, about, said, let's talk about you, Leo. Like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Sorry, no, not, no. not England speak. A very nice podcast. I need I to go. Feel. Yeah. No, no, like, obviously, like, I'll, I'll talk about the relationship I have with you, yeah? And I've noticed this a while back, but obviously I've told you this already. A lot of the experiences I have today, or a lot of experiences I have, sorry, the kind of stuff that you've done, been done and done that kind of thing, you know? So when you tell me, cool, this is going to happen if you do this, am I supposed to say, cool, thanks for the heads up, I'm gonna still going to do it, so I can experience this, I can take the learning, or should I just listen to you and keep a step in, or skip, skip that thing that you tell me to avoid? Mm. What's better? What's better? Um, I think I think at the end of the day, even if you experience certain things that I have, you're still gonna experience it your way. Um, so I think sometimes when you experience it and then we have a conversation, like we might be like, cool, like I understand it in that sort of way. So it's like the similar thing of like, cool, you know, like if if like if you got the same car as me and you were driving the same car, yeah, mm. then you can go cool. I understand what driving that car means, but you'll still understand it in your own way. But we'll have some relatability, like we'll be able to relate to that experience. So you did it again. Still relatability, able to relate. Mm. Yeah, a- ability to relate. You've done yeah. it again. Man. But even within that, it's like, let's stick on the topic of you driving a car, for example. That same car that you guys might both be driving would still mean different things to you. One yeah. of you, for example, might have saved up just as much money as you can to try and get a vehicle and this was the only vehicle you could afford. The other one might have been given mm-hmm. it from a parent. What you get? It's, it's, it's the journey, it's the journey and the process to get to that point that's different, mm. which gives a different appreciation. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> going to start wrapping up. Um, so before I do so, I want to, I want to ask you, I want to ask you a question. Go ahead. Um, and this is a question we ask every single guest. And Aladdin's looking at me in a funny way yeah, Because I rephrased this question so many So many different times But I'm going to put it like this this time Please. If, not even if I keep saying when? if all the time when? You know what Imagine this yeah You have an opportunity Wait, 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 wait. Go, let's fu- imagine it did you fu- Okay, cool, cool oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait <laughs> No, no, let, let him do his thing Let, let him do his thing So imagine you have this one unique opportunity to speak to 7.8, 7.8 billion people, so technically the whole world, and you can give them one message. Mm-hmm. What do you want to tell them? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was close. <laughs> hey, just close it <laughs> um, For people that are listening, we're still here, by the way, just just as a heads up. You can cut this in it, you can you're gonna edit it. Nah, but we're not gonna uh, cut this. Uh, no editing bro, whatsoever. Bro, not editing, bro. Longest bro, of days. That was expecting. They all, they all be changed. Um but, but this is authentic, bro. Like fair enough. Um the one thing I would say is 
just stop with the external. There's a whole lot of stuff that's going on at the moment, which is completely external. Stop, man. Like, your biggest priority should be the family and those that are closest to you, your loved ones that actually love you for who you are, irrespective of how much money you've got, irrespective of what you're wearing, the sort of house that you live in. The people who care for you the most, those closest to you, just cherish them with what you've got, man. Because mm. they will be the people who are there at the end. They will be the people who love you um, undyingly. And really and truly, that's all you want in life. Yeah. That's all you want in life. You just want to be at one of your people. I love that, man. Cool. Um, yeah, that was powerful, man. That made me think. And do you want to, is there anything you want to plug? For the community, anything you want to share, like your socials or anything that you're doing, anything you're working on? Um, yeah, I do. I want to plug um, my Instagram because I'm um, doing a lot more modeling and acting stuff now. Did you know I actually filmed? I filmed down the road with um, with Warner Brothers Studios. We did a, a production on... What's this thing called? What was this film called? This is the first time I've ever been in this area to do anything. Anyway, yes, if you guys want to follow just me. Man just casually slapped into me. The Warner Brothers, you know, this is the first team, time. No, we're going to yeah. have a conversation after, my bro. Yeah, we'll speak hard. <laughs> if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's voltaire.tywo. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll put the links as well. Okay. In, in, yeah, in, it's just voltaire.tywo so. um, on the Instagram. Um, and if you guys want to try some lit VR, I work at um, a virtual reality cafe. It's bloody lit. I can second that. I've been there before and I loved it. It was an experience. I'm coming back soon anyway. Come on. Uh, and Aladdin, Aladdin wants to come here. Up yeah, as well. bro, I told Aladdin up. about it. Come down, come down. If you guys are looking to kill any zombies or you want to be just a wizard or a dragon hey, for a day. Man got a high score though. Remember, can can you watch for me? Remember I got a high score. Well, what score did you get? Um, I can't remember. It was like the S grade, but it was the high score. People were telling me I got a high score. You got score, S. Man. Yeah. S is a high score, but S isn't the highest. Uh, bro, well. listen. They told me that's the highest score someone's ever got. When yeah, man was there. To gas you up so I'm you not listen. I'm more. being honest. But if they but gas me up, I'm not. I'm not coming back to this place again. You know why? You enjoyed it, bro. You? Like you enjoyed like getting gassed up. Not, you were there, like it. for real. What man got? The, ma oh, so is that a thing that you lot do? You like tell yeah, everyone yeah, that they got the highest score. It's a little bit of, I just uh, clocked uh, the pattern. I just clocked the pattern. No, but um, S is S is a high score. S is above A. Yeah, but there's SS. You know what, man might have got triple S though. I can't remember. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Triple S is the highest we've, we've, we've come across. So if you did get triple S, I think it right. might have been that still. You might have actually got, yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 Might like Leo, you know. Yeah, come, on, come on, But yeah, if you guys want to shoot up some zombies or uh, walk into a haunted house or do some roller coasters, maybe some go-karts, hit up Hyper Reality. Um, I am the GM there. So you're most likely going to catch me there on most days. Come through. Play some games. We've also got a retro lounge downstairs and a whole heap of different karaoke. Um, we've got like a whole karaoke studio in the back. Yeah, man. They got a bar as well. We do cocktails. Yeah. Lit yeah, yeah, cocktails. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Much gratitude for coming and, and being on the episode, man. You're welcome, my bro. Thank you for having me. I love the time here, bro. Cool. Yeah. Bless. Cheers. Yeah, man.